All right, everyone, welcome back to the Outdoor Channel. We are just beyond excited. We have a brand new camper that we're bringing to the channel. We're gonna be able to do lots more outdoor content than we've done in the past, probably for years to come. And our first video today is talking about how to secure the camper, both to your truck and when you have it parked. That's all coming up next. This camper is made by Highland Ridge. They're part of the Jayco family, and this is part of the open range series of campers that they have. It's a 19 MBH, about 23 and a half feet long, although the coach is 19 foot, and it's about 5,000 pounds dry. And as you can see, we have it stored out in the front of our house. That's where I have room. So it's out here where the neighborhood can see, which brings us to why we're here. I need to be able to secure this camper, at least with some kind of lock on here. We've been able to partner with Way of Safe Hitches. Now, I've had this hitch here for a while. I've been using it all year, and it's part of their Way Safe 2.0 launch. It's been absolutely fantastic. The scale has worked out really, really well. But we're in particular going to look at this coupler lock that's here. And they've also sent me a few more locks on here, all keyed the same. So why does having everything keyed make any sense or why does it even matter? Well, we're an outdoor channel, so we have outdoor stuff and that means I've got a bunch of keys, right? So we've got the new camper, you saw that. Uh, if you're subscribed to the channel, you know we also have a pop-up camper. Not really sure how much more we're gonna use it, but we still have it. And you see there in the background, we also have our boat. And uh, there's keys for everything. And if I can get rid of a few of them, that would be great. All right, so part of the test is we're going to check my existing key here. Now, when you order from Wayssafe, there's a number that's on this key. I don't particularly want to show you mine. You get the idea, but there's a number that's on here. And in my case, this particular key only operates this coupler right here and uh, connects my ball to my shank. And we're going to see if it works with all of the other locks. Now, they come with keys too, but they should all be key the same. So I'll have a few extra sets in case I need it. And... Looks like I'll be retiring my master locks. Now, master lock makes a fine lock. I've been really happy with them, but I think this setup's going to be a lot nicer. So moving over to the first one, they sent me a lock here for the hitch and receiver. And it's a little snug, but all right, works actually quite nicely. This is a nice lock. And then, of course, if I use the keys that came with it, as you would expect, should be interchangeable. Let's see if this uh, packaging is childproof or not. <laughs> Looks like uh, it's not, which is okay with me. Another set of keys. This is going to be great for the camper. And it looks like there's a nice rubber boot here off to the side. Very nice. We'll try any of these keys here. And... Look at that. Works as expected. Try this padlock here. Works as expected. And the trailer lock here. works as expected. This is actually really, really nice. This first lock is pretty straightforward. It's the trailer coupler lock and it's got a ball on here. It's um, 
pretty generic size ball. It should fit on most trailers. This particular one's a two and five sixteenths, but it'll fit on a two inch as well. Uh, basically, it sits under here just like you see. Prevents somebody from coming in and putting whatever their ball mount is up into your trailer and uh, preventing theft that way. So it sits there. You've got your top part here. Doesn't matter which way you go. Either way is fine. You just have to line up some of these ribs on here uh, with the lock. And once you line that up, it'll set on there just like that. Take your little rubber boot, cover that up, keep that clean. Now some of these locks will secure from both the bottom and the top. This one just secures the bottom. So we've got this extra padlock here we're going to use to secure it from the top. Put that on there and you're good to go. Okay, moving on to the boat. And that's really the beauty of the system here. You can use pretty much any of the locks on any of the trailers and only have one set of keys. But there you go. That works just like that. And of course we have the locks here at the back of the truck. That goes like that. And of course the beauty of having an adjustable hitch is that right there. All right, so what started as, hey, I need to secure this trailer. It's in the front of my house. It's gonna be here all winter. It has really turned into something really, really great. I can get rid of a bunch of these and uh, man, I'm really, really happy about this. So thank you Wavesafe for sending this out. Hope you liked the video. If you do like and subscribe, we got a lot more content coming and we'll see you soon.